Hey, welcome Hi. back to the channel. I'm Chris. And I'm Christy. This is the Chris and Christy channel. And today we're going to be showing you, the people, uh, how to recognize a carbine, a pistol carbine, and how to load and function the High Point 9mm 995 Tactical Carbine. And we're going to go through it very, very thoroughly. Uh, it does have a cheek rest right here. And this here is a um, shock absorbing uh, mechanism at, at the um, shoulder rest. Basically gives you comfort. Yeah, and it absorbs the shock uh, when it shoots, like backwards. It absorbs it. Okay. This is a 9 millimeter. And the types of ma magazines it takes is a single stack, 10 round mag. But you can order them. If you can find them, you can buy these in tw 20 and even 30 round uh, banana type magazines. And this thing looks like it could not leave the ground. <laughs> oh no, it fires a 9mm round, which is right here. Oh, that's a tiny little bullet. Tiny. And we're going to show you how to load the magazines. Oh. Now it's a, a single stack mag, so they're pretty relatively easy to do. You just put your bullet in. That's one. It holds it in. So two. Like I said, it's very easy to load. Is it made out Three. of aluminum? Will it cut me? Uh, it's made out of aluminum, but if you're really, really careful and just push it down in there, oh. you can try. Okay. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Look at this Oh, God. I don't even think I can do it really. Just kind of. Maybe. Just try to. Watch, I'll show you. Just do like this. Oh. Yeah, push down hard though. Push oh, down. Oh, okay. And it slides in. Damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got a lot of struggle with this. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> And one thing, I have not been able to find a, ma a, ma a magazine uh -oh. push down uh, load help, oh, there it so is. to speak. Uh. I haven't been able to find any of those for these to show how to use it with. I don't really, I don't even think I can do this. Well, I can get it if you're having problems. They the whole reason why I can't really get I'm having trouble putting in the bullet is because I've been working a lot and I work on a cash register so my hands are kind of hurting at the moment <laughs> starting to get bad arthritis find it. oh gosh but yeah when you load it you gotta push it down slide it in Still. So you just push down and slide, push down, slide in. There you go. And the final one, number 10. And you always want to give it a good knock. Make sure the bullet's pointing upwards. Um, for this one I have a few spare magazines also. I've got two extras. So three all together. And when you load this, the carbine, it loads like a pistol. Like, like it loads it at the bottom. Unlike the AR-15, which would load like this. Or in any other car, uh, carbine. 
I think what they did when they created this is they pretty much made this like the pistol. They made it to function like the pistol a little bit. And it does accept the 9mm uh, pistol mags as well. It is kind of easy to mistake for an AR because it kind of looks like one. And you just put it in the bottom and make sure it clicks. Wait, is this an AR? Oh, okay. Well, according to the liberals, because it has a, uh, a rail system... And because it's pistol grip, yeah, they, they would cons oh, consider okay. this an assault rifle. Just because it looks scary and it's black. Eh, not too bad. But to function it is the slide handle on the left hand side. So if you need to cycle it and get it ready, pull this back and it's loaded. Now, first what you want to do is eject the magazine and we're going to eject the bullet out. Oh, honey, you're losing your tool. <laughs> I'll get it. Ugh. And that's how you function the weapon. Uh, you can also, if you're cleaning it, or if you want to take a look down the, the tube for any reason, you can push this down and it should go in there. Hang on. Struggles real with this gun. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get it all the way back. That's why. Well, struggling tonight. That's weird. What's the matter? Can Got I... it. Oh, okay. You just have to pull it back a little bit so you can look inside the ejection port. Mm -hmm. And you can look down the barrel for whatever reason or look for any obstructions, pitting, shoot your eye anything out, like that. <laughs> And when you're done with it, you just have to take this little handle, pull out, and it's ready to go. Oh. Uh, it does have a, a nice safety on it. Uh, you can see the little red dot. Uh, if you put this upwards, safety's on, safety's off. Uh, it does have a adjustable sight. On the side here with a flat flathead screwdriver, you can adjust your uh, your sighting on it. Uh, it's a nice little gun. I mean, I've fired it a handful of times. Um, I will say you can, uh, with the rail that's on it, you can take off the, um, the sight that's on it and you can put a scope on it really easily. Um... Also, if you needed to remove the post sight, that's easy to remove too. There's just a bolt you have to take off here. And you can remove this. So you can put a scope on it and make it, you know, a scope drive for type thing. Uh, it does have, I believe, a 16 inch barrel. You know, it's like the bare minimum for making it legal for a rifle. Uh, these used to go for about 200 bucks used, and right now, I'm afraid to even look up and see how much these things are running. Let's see. We'll get you some up-to-date up information here. I'm going to sit back for a minute. Yeah, she just got off work and kind of hurt her wrist a little bit, so... We're going to look here and see how much these things are going for. High point carbine, 9mm for sale. Let's see. We'll look together. A 
Let's see, gunbroker.com. Let's see how much they're selling for on gunbroker. Holy crap. Current bid is four hundred dollars. So yeah, these things are selling. Looks like one just sold a couple minutes ago for five hundred. Holy crap! And it looks like the twenty round uh, Red Bull mags are going for about sixty bucks a piece. Or $27. So they're still relatively cheap for the magazines. But yeah, these once sold for like $200 used. And now they're going for like $500. So that's pretty ama amazing and weird at the same time. Uh, let's check guns.com. Okay, let's see here. High point. Nine, nine, five. TS carbine. Okay, let's see what these things are going for. Wow. I will show it to you guys because you're not going to believe it. Guns.com is selling these currently for $650 in stock. And that is used. And that looks to be the only one they have in stock. $650 for a $200 gun. That is amazing. So, just for you guys to keep an eye on, I mean, the whole gun si the gun si gun situation is changing drastically. And guns that used to be really cheap to buy are now three times what many people paid for them. But I will say, it it is a good gun for what it is. It's a 9mm carbine. Um, back in the day, if you wanted a 9mm rifle, you'd have to buy a AR 9mm. Uh, which is like what used to be the DEA special, they used to call them. Because the DEA used to use those. The 9mm AR car, uh, carbines. Um... But for this being a 9mm rifle, you know, it's a good buy. You can find them for a decent price, but... I had a couple more of these and I sold, I sold them and I'm really sorry I did now. Because, shoot, how much they're s selling for now, I really feel bad. Because, you know, people are making a killing right now with firearms. That's what's crazy. Um, I definitely recommend this for a small type person, maybe, maybe teenager, maybe, you know, early 20s. You know, it'd be a good 9mm, like, dry forward to get used to shooting. Here, let me see. Uh, let's see how you mm -hmm. feel with it. Yeah. Get a woman's point of view here. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, you're holding it right. That's not... All right. Uh, let's see. Let me pull back. How do I? Yeah, you have to pull okay. that back like that. Oh, okay. You have to pull it back <laughs> into it. As you can see, I'm not much of a gun expert. Is it difficult? Hang on. Let me see if I can get with this. Yeah, hand. try it. Try with that hand. Some yeah. some people do that before they load them. You get it? Okay, hang on. Okay. Let me see. Give. Got it? Okay. Let's see if you get it all the way back. 
Yep. Yep, I could. Well, okay, so you, yeah, you can load it. Well, barely. <laughs> but, I mean, the important thing is, at I least mean, you can if get I, it. If I was, like, in danger, I would not use this gun, mainly because I'm kind of struggling with it. Um... Chris's mom's ex-roommate or whatever, she had a really, really nice, like, small handgun just for her protection. And I want that gun so bad. Like, In the meantime, It's so though. easy for me to pull. I can have a, a little tiny gun for my own protection. In the so, meantime, though, this is the gun that she currently uses. Oh, here, let me... And... Here. Oh, really? Oh... <laughs> But yeah, here here's the gun that she uses. Oh, yeah, this right here's mine. It's a Taurus 38 Special Ultralight Titanium. It's base. It's base. It's a tiny gun, but it's my tiny gun. You know, packs a good punch. It's I a love, 38 Special. Shoots, I kind of love it because it shoots these. I can pull the trigger. Can I pull the trigger to demonstrate? Uh, yes, it's been emptied. See? So you can dry Damn. fire it. See? See? I Easy can to... pull it, even with this hand. Hang on. Well, I'm more dominant this with my right hand. Yeah, just make sure you can pull the, tri pull the trigger all the way until it clicks. Yep, there you go. It's hurt my hand, but... In an emergency... In the emergency, you know, at least you got something. It hurts my hand a little bit, mainly because, I don't know, my arthritis, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I usually keep, uh, for her, for, for home defense, I keep five rounds of um, hollow points, Winchester hollow points. you know, points. sometimes he's not home. Well... Back then, like, he was worried about me because he worked nights and burglaries mainly happen at night. But now that he's working mornings, I think he's more safe and comfortable with leaving me at home. Because he's there all the time. I mean, she still has this close right next to the bed, so, you know, she yeah. can use it if she has to. Uh, some up, what do some you other use letters. for home defense? Me? Mm -hmm. Well, tell them. Well, I know me? What you use. I have two things I use for home defense. One is my SIG P226. And number two would be a 12-gauge uh, uh, Ma Maverick 88 next to the bed with double-watt buckshot in it. So, Also, some sometimes when I'm, tar I'm target shooting that one, I'll shoot these. These are, what these are called, Western 38 Specials. These are pretty nice little hollow points. Um, you know what I was thinking about doing um, for you viewers? I was thinking about um, since it's been snowing a lot lately and I'm kind of worried that, you know, if our car breaks down, we'll be stuck in the freezing cold. We're going to take you guys with us. To prepare for when um, we do get um, stuck in the cold like what we use for an emergency blanket like what we're going to be putting in our trunk in case of a winter emergency and also come c coming up tomorrow night if it starts snowing heavy I am prepared to go outside have her film and I'm going to be laying outside in the snow in a um, military sleep system. I'm you going have, to lay out there for an hour. A, you have a selfie stick. You can just yeah. use your selfie stick. Well, I'm going to have you picture the whole thing. And we're, we're going to do updates at 15 minutes, and then at 30 minutes, and then at an hour. We're going to do updates. I'm going to have her come outside doing up an update. I'm going to have a ski mask on and it's going to be freezing ass cold outside. So He is really lucky. I love him 
because I will not just stand out in the snow and just stare at someone in a sleeping bag for nothing. But we're doing it for you guys because we're going to start te testing out. We're supposed to be getting anywhere between a foot to a foot and a half of snow within the next day and a half. I'm going to wait until that snow is coming down good and I'm going to go outside and get inside that 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 sleeping bag with the bit the bivy on it, the green patrol bag, and the black intermediate bag. I'm gonna get out in the middle of a snowstorm at night. I'm gonna wait until it's coming down, and I'm gonna get out there and lay in it and see how warm that su yeah. that sucker is. <laughs> either that, I'm gonna be doing either the military sleep system one, or the extreme cold weather. Thinking about it. I kind of want to do the extreme cold weather 1993 bag. I kind of want to do that one. Well, you have to test all of them. Yeah, well, we're going to test them all. Uh, the M1949 is the only one I'm going to have to use, like, an off-brand bivy with it. Because it doesn't come with a bit a bivy. So I'm just going to put down, like, a, a mat and uh -huh. uh, put it inside of a bit a bivy to test it. So we don't get it wet because the M1949 was the Korean War sleeping bag. And you can't really get it wet. Mm -hmm. um, back to the rifle though. It is awesome. Um, I showed you the functions of it. Security features. Um, what kind of stuff you can do with it. It's got... A Picatinny rail down here up here. So you can put like a foregrip here. You can put a flashlight here. A, lit, a laser. A, a scope. I mean you you can modify this to however you want it. Uh, you can put a two point sling. Or a one point sling even if you wanted to. But. Yeah. It's really. It's a nice gun. Um. Just a little bit pricey at the moment, probably because of the current political climate. Well, after all this political s stuff is over, it'll probably become cheap again. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> that's at least going to be four years, if it's anything like the Obama administration. If it's anything like that, we got four years to wait and hopefully get a different president. But that's about all I can say for this rifle. Um, we did do a, a, a an oversight review, but I really wanted to show you guys an in depth uh, functionality of these. They 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 take ten twenty round magazines, uh, so you can buy either or. Uh, as far as loading the magazines, pretty easy if you're used to loading these mags. Um, if you're not used to it. I'd definitely look and see if they have like a single stack 9mm assist loader, like something that pushes it down for you. Mm -hmm. um, because if you're kind of weak with your hands, you're definitely going to need some help loading these magazines. This may, like, I would go to a gun shop first, ask if they have a loose mag and some 9mm some nine ammo laying around, and see if you can load it with your hand. Because if you're not able to load it and you buy, buy a gun, get home, and you can't even load the magazines, it's not going to be any use to you. So at least see what your own strength is. Or if you know someone else who has the same gun, try out theirs. Go and see if you, if you can load the magazine. You should do that with every gun. So if you, Especially if you've never owned a gun and you know nothing about guns, test it first. Find a way to test the magazine yeah. and see if you're able to load it. Because I mean, if you physically can't do it, then it's a waste of money. I mean, honestly, just find the right gun for you. I mean, there's a, it's an easy way. I mean, if you can easily load it, if you can easily, you know, um, hold it, you can easily shoot it, um, cock it back. You know, fun fact about this particular gun, the old version, the one that didn't come with all the rails and the fancy schmancy uh, stock and stuff like that, just the older version of this, 
the old uh, High Point 995 car uh, carbine. Fun fact, uh, the Columbine Massacre, that's what one of the shooters had, was a similar gun like this. Which this gun came out during the assault weapons ban. So that's why it's limited to 10 round magazines. Okay, these guys had multiple 10 round magazines. Did it stop them? Did it slow them down at all? No. They were still able to do a lot of harm. So that shows that magazine bans have absolutely zero to do with, ma with mass shootings. Because that happened during an assault, we assault weapons ban. They still had a Tech 9 pistol, a, shot a shotgun sawed off, and this same type of a rifle with 10 round magazines and they were still able to do damage. So that shows right there that the assault we assault weapons ban, it's useless. I mean people don't care. If people are hell bent on causing conflicts and you know mass mass murder they're going to find a way to do it. Some guy in, chi in China with a knife killed like tw 25 pe um, people before he was subdued. I mean, you're going to have, you know, even if you take away stuff like this even, they can always use what, I mean, weapons of war can be anything. Like a five round bolt action. I mean, look at Sergeant York in World War One. He had a nineteen oh three Springfield, thirty out six, five round magazines, and he was able to pick off a lot of Germans sing single handedly with a bolt action rifle. If someone's skilled enough and they've got, you know, bandoliers, stripper clips, putting them five rounds in you know, you can do a, a lot of damage. Uh, even going as far back as the old cowboy days, the old lever action. If you're fast enough with those and you can re reload, you know, the main point I'm making is any gun, I don't care how old it is, how new it is, can still be used. If they ban something, those people who are bent on on causing harm are not going to care what what they use. They'll start using, you know, you're going to have Civil War type shootings where they're going to be tamping down their muskets shooting people or have a bayonet on the end if uh, people get too close to them. Or they might have, you know, a six shooters with uh, single action preloaded. I mean, People are going to find a way. It's just human nature. People are stupid. So that's why it's important for you, our watchers, to stay armed. So you can even the playing field and you can keep yourself and your family safe. Because that's what we all want. Is our fam ourselves and our, fam our families and friends safe. So... Help share the video. Anything you want to add, honey? No, I don't have much to add. She's pretty tired. But, stay safe. And, like I said, we're going to be making a video tomorrow in the snow. So, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell. And stay up to date. Act. Actually, we should have a watermark at the end of the video. So, hit the little don't tread on me flag. And subscribe. So, God bless you all. God bless America. And, see you guys later.